more projects that will make your house look polished and feel like it's worth a million bucks, which is like priceless. So we're going to deal with the cables. The cables. They're everywhere. The chaos of the cables yes. and cords. For me, that is so much visual distraction in a space that no matter how pretty your room is, all you're going to notice is the dangly, hangy mm. cords everywhere. Yes. So there are a lot of really simple, easy, and inexpensive products out there that will help you to tame the chaos within yes. your house and make them disappear. That's what we which want. Which is awesome. So Good the stuff. first is these little tubes right here mm -hmm. that hide your cords that oh. run around your baseboard. So if you have, uh, yeah. for example, my mom's in a condo building, mm -hmm. it's hardwired with still cable TV, yes. and it runs all around the perimeter of the space because cables are never where you need them to be, right, <laughs> right. near the television where you want that to go. <laughs> yeah. So this, you put all of your cables inside, you slide the shut, you can connect them as long as you need around, the, around a space, you can get little corners for them too, and then on the back, it's peel and stick on both oh. sides here. You stick it to your baseboard and floor. And then mm -hmm. here's the best part, paintable. So you can paint nice. right over this to match into your trim. Beautiful. So you just make it disappear and make it part of your space. So very, very great little gadget. So you've got, already got everything done and you this is an add-on that exactly. you put on. You don't have to think about that. You can put it on a little bit later on. Exactly. I got the, these ones on Amazon and they also, the same company, had the ones for television wires as well that hang oh, vertical. Nice. So it's a flat one that you can hang right on the wall. Paint yeah. over that and make those cords disappear. Beautiful. So desktop. Yes. There are, there's so much going on on top of the desk. <laughs> right. There's the phone wires, the lamp wires, yeah. computer wires, all of the things. We need to corral that a little bit. We do. The best way to do that is get everything into one source, okay. if possible, so you don't have things going in different directions. Right. So one of my favorite things to do, and this is a great tip for if you have like the laminate tile type of desktop, mm -hmm. if you are willing to drill a hole, a very small hole, mm -hmm. like this one here, I used my hole saw, so this is a two inch hole saw, mm -hmm. and I picked up a package of grommets, so this one drops right in here, and nice. then there's the little cover, and this is where you can have an extension cord come up through here, or your desk lamp, for example, going down. Lovely. So, and you can do it right in the corner of your desk, and then have that hidden going down the table leg at the back, so yes. again, you don't see them. If you want to drill a little bit of a bigger hole, mm -hmm. I use a three inch hole saw for this. And this has now all of your plugs in your USB. And I'm going to flip this over because I know, Tracy, you were asking, you say, do I have to hire an electrician? Right. This is what the back looks like. You just plug this in, oh. right? So now it looks like you've got a really fancy schmancy electrified desk yeah. without having to get an expensive, fancy schmancy electrician to do it. That all is you so need good. is a hole saw and a drill, baby. Yeah. And you're good to go. Beautiful. Easy. Oh, very oh, you nice. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I right. like that. Now, you want to know what else I like. What do you like? I really like these beautiful streamlined boxes yeah. that can sit as organizational elements on your desk. Mm -hmm. But you know what we're organizing? What? Cords. Cords. All of your cords. Even better, power bar. So with this, oh. if I take this off and flip this over, you oh, can see this that. is specifically designed for my power bar. Yeah. But so smart, there's vents in the bottom, so it allows for airflow. Good. This is the really smart feature that I love. If I turn this around, your cords all have a place to come back, but they have left very smartly a mm -hmm. space right here that you can reach in if you have a source switch oh, for any good. of your lights so that you can just reach in the back and turn that on or off. Yes. So two sizes for two sizes of power bars and keep everything streamlined. It's so it's streamlined. Beautiful. You even have the space above if you want to put like a Pencil, few curated things. Curated not clutter. Perfection, That's my right. Little, like, figurines, yeah, maybe lucky, a little lucky trolls, anything yes. that you might want on your desk, That's right? right? I don't have lucky trolls, but yeah. the idea is <laughs> We weren't uh, going to judge you. <laughs> here's a little DIY for you, but it okay. comes with a disclaimer. Uh oh. Don't be writing letters, snail mail, <laughs> that Leanne cut books, because yes, I did cut books, right. and I know some people are going to be offended by that, but I look at this project that I saved books because my neighbor had put out a ton in their blue bin yes. of old books and old university textbooks. Yeah. And listen, when it comes to a math textbook, those should be cut. <laughs> I have no problem accounting. There was accounting, they economics. They all need to be cut up. And if you can cut them up in a thoughtful way, that's what I did. And yeah. I created a little hideaway okay, take for a look my at this. ugly router and modem at home. So you can so see that that fits right, right underneath there. Yes. 
so, so much better. Beautiful. So I'm going to take the end book off because I just had that leaning to make it look authentic. Yeah. But you can see at the side here that I just created a little wood box and then did a simple little cut on my miter saw. You can use a skill saw, you can use a circular saw, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And now sitting on my bookshelf at home, I have my electronics hidden. You can hide your family jewels in behind oh, here, beautiful. whatever you want hidden. Car keys. But just exactly, all yeah. of these little things. And it just now looks decorative. Very oh. nice. Go find those books that you don't have a place for and you can cover the cable. Right. LA